When Fortnite Mobile was banned almost three years ago, the mobile gaming community was left with a huge hole to fill, that being a third person arcade or, you know, cartoonish shooter. Now, yes, I know PUBG Mobile and COD Mobile exist, but those two games are more catered to realistic gunfights. Whereas I'm a fan of Shockwave launching myself 100 feet in the air and going for a trick shot to get the win. That being said, about a year ago, we received the highly anticipated Apex Legends Mobile. And while it did fit the criteria of a third person cartoonish battle royale that might be able to fill some of the gaps that the Fortnite Mobile ban caused, this solution was short lived as in just a few days, Apex Legends Mobile will no longer exist. Yet again, the mobile community was in search of a new battle royale game that would be playable on most devices, well optimized, and most importantly, fun. Most people, myself included, thought that Warzone Mobile would be the next best game that would fit this criteria and hopefully fill the void. But what if I told you there might be a better solution than Warzone Mobile and to top it all off, you wouldn't have to wait months to play it because it just globally released a few days ago. Now before we continue on any further, I have to state this video is not sponsored. I am just a very passionate gamer, and I'm particularly fond of the mobile community. And ever since the ban of Fortnite Mobile, I personally have been searching for a game that satisfies that part of my brain that Fortnite Mobile was able to satisfy, and I think that game has finally arrived. Today, I'll be talking about Farley 84, the newest battle royale third-person shooter to come to mobile. Now, there's a ton to break down about the game, but to quickly summarize the game, it's as if Fortnite Mobile and Apex Legends Mobile had a child, and that child was this game. There's a hero selection screen before each match, unique abilities for every hero, 60 player lobbies, a competent ranked mode, daily and weekly in-game tournaments, and a graphic style that I absolutely love and personally think looks great on my iPad. Oh yeah, and the best part, it doesn't drop any frames while I'm running the game at the highest setting. So those are all the bullet points about the game, but let's take a deeper dive into the gameplay of Farla 84 and why I think it has so much potential. Now, the best way to explain the gameplay in Farla 84 is it's like the Fortnite no-build mode, but with jetpacks and abilities. Now, if that sounds chaotic and that it wouldn't be a fun experience, well, that couldn't be further from the truth. The abilities that each hero have are very well balanced and have pretty long cooldown times, so you're not spamming abilities during the fight. Additionally, the jetpacks have tremendously long cooldowns, so you're required to use each dash and jump boost carefully as to not waste them too early in a fight or while rotating. Each match has 60 players, but you'll run into what feels like way more than that during the course of the match. The main reason for that is because of the respawn and revive mechanics in the game. If you die within the first few minutes of each match, you're given a free respawn that can be used to get you instantly back into the game and fighting with your team. If you get knocked down, just like any other battle royale, you can get revived after just a few seconds. However, if you get knocked down and fully eliminated, then your teammates have three minutes to get to your death box and revive you. This revive takes 15 seconds, so it can be a bit risky, but in Farley 84, you're never truly out of the fight. Moving on to heroes, there are quite a few, and this video won't go into detail on each hero's ability, but I will leave some creators linked down below who have been making guides on these heroes so that you can learn in depth about each hero's abilities. Each hero has a tactical and an ultimate ability, and on top of that, they're also given passive upgrades as you level up your hero in each match. Yes, that's right, you can level up your hero in a match to get even more abilities and to become even more powerful. When you start a match, your hero is always level 1, but by getting kills, looting boxes, and surviving longer into the match, you'll earn XP that will help level up your hero and get you some insane buffs. The main buff being the higher of a level your hero is in that particular match, the more damage you do to enemies. You're given a damage buff, that being up to 30%, just by surviving and fragging out. This gives a nice incentive to go out there and clean up the lobby as if you camp it'll be really hard to level up your hero in game and get those passive abilities and buffs heroes can be unlocked in game for free using their coin system which you can get by doing missions and events or by paying a few dollars for each hero if you're impatient Similar to other BRs out there, Farla 84 has an integrated ranked mode, meaning that each match you play will affect your rank and that there's no distinguishing ranked or unranked mode. The higher the rank you unlock, the more difficult your lobbies become and the less bots you'll run into. At the time of making this video, the top ranked lobbies are only seeing around 10-20% to 20 of the lobbies being filled with bots, which is a huge improvement compared to that of Apex Legends Mobile or Call of Duty Mobile ranked lobbies. There are also seasonal rewards 
rewards for placing high in your ranked division. So make note of that if you're a free to play gamer. Grinding equals rewards in Farla 84. Now, one of the most unique aspects of the entire game has to be the in game tournament system. Now, yes, games like COD Mobile do have an in-game tournament system, but there is only one tournament a year, and after all the dust has settled, there's a 99% chance that you'll walk away from the tournament empty-handed. The same can't be said for Farla 84 and its innovative approach at in-game tournaments. Similar to Fortnite Mobile, Farla 84 employs an in-game tournament system for different regions, but what they do better than Fortnite Mobile is the frequency at which these tournaments are hosted. In the Asia region, there are multiple tournaments happening each day for in-game currency and a few tournaments a week for real life prize money. The North America region also has daily tournaments, but unfortunately, the European and MENA regions see a little in the way of in-game tournaments at the moment. Regardless, I think it's awesome to see a game have such a robust tournament mode implemented at its global launch. I know the prize pools are relatively small at the moment, but if this game starts to get some momentum and the player base grows, I have to assume the prize pools will also grow with the game's popularity. Lastly, let's talk about optimization. Now, it's no secret that optimization for any new mobile game is important. No, scratch that, crucial. As if a new new player downloads a game and is met with a laggy and unoptimized experience, the likelihood they ever play the game again is slim. Well, with Farla 84, you don't have to worry about that, as at launch, they have some of the best optimization for an open world mobile shooter that I've seen. While the frame rate is capped at 60 for all devices, you are getting a true 60 FPS at all times, meaning you shouldn't have to worry about dropping frames during intense fights. Now, I will have to say, if you have an older or lower end device, you might not have the same level of optimization that I have on my iPad Pro 2021, but I've heard from multiple sources and players that there is lots of optimization for lower end and less powerful devices. This is a super important point as right now the next most hype game planned to be released is Warzone Mobile, and from what we can all tell, the optimization is looking pretty shoddy at best. Farley 84 could easily rival some of the other big players in the scene if they are able to keep up with the optimization and performance on the lower end devices as there is always a demand from those players for new mobile games to play. Although it's early days for Farla 84, I am incredibly hopeful for this game. The community is small, but it's dedicated. The game has been in development for the last two years, and the developers have seemingly built up a great relationship with the creators and players, allowing for a good foundation of rapport between the community and the developers of the game. Now, I know everyone out there has been waiting for a new mobile game to play, particularly some new shooters, and while everyone is focused on Wars of Mobile, it wouldn't hurt to give a game like this a try, as who knows, maybe it'll run better than Wars of Mobile will, and maybe you'll even have more fun. I'm gonna be streaming this game quite a bit, so if you wanna go follow my Twitch, you can do so, or just make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss any streams that I do. Also, one last note, if you guys want to join the Discord, you can join the community Discord. I'll leave a link down below in the description. Anyways, thanks for watching. It's been a boy, Doc of the Gamer, and catch you guys in the next one. Deuces!